Victoria, great to chat with you again in the daylight time. Let's talk about GE first of all. I mean, GE, I guess, a healthcare and wind turbine and energy company. How do you view the number and how do you view the name? Yeah, I look at it as a buy. It was all about renewables, Mitch. That, that's really what dragged down earnings. Aviation was great. Power was pretty good. Health was in, was good. Uh, they're also looking at uh, kind of streamlining their company. They're spinning on health. And so I look at this as a company in transformation. They wrote down a lot in the renewable sector right now. So I think they ripped the Band-Aid off on that. Supply chain issues as well as renewables has been a really, really tough with wind turbines this year. So I think it's kind of got all the bad news out of the way. We're a buy on GE. All right, next up, Halliburton. What did you get from their earnings call about future demand? Drill, baby, drill. Uh, I mean, their n numbers with the Schlumberger or SLB or whatever they're calling themselves were fantastic. They still grew internationally <laughs> at 21%, uh, even with the write down in Russia. They got all the Russia, you know, off the books, and that's, that's great. So they're looking at increased demand. They're going to see it in Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, the United States, great North American drilling. They're passing on these increased supply costs, increased labor costs to the, the EMP companies that are expecting a 16% increase. So I think their margins are pretty safe, and I think you've got a really good outlook uh, for oil and gas. Their CEO's excited. They see a really good tailwind coming. Mm -hmm. So I'm a buy on Halliburton. And apparently not a lover of, of Schlumberger's new name, which is just SLB. I'm not sure what that means, but that is the new name for Schlumberger. Let's talk about Pulte. This one is so interesting. Okay, a home builder, one of the biggest in the United States. You got rates, mortgage rates that have doubled or tripled in some cases in a year. But the stock is up because margins did well. I got to imagine if you're a new home builder, you can do things to reduce your own cost to maybe make things more affordable. Just cut, you know, make the house a little bit smaller, right? Put it, build it out of sticks, not bricks. Hope for no yeah, wolves. except their margins are probably going to go down, right? They're at peak. They, I think this is almost peak margin for them. They're going to have increased selling costs. They may have to do some discounting or some deals. I mean, their their cancellations were up twenty four percent. Their, uh, you know, they they had a twenty eight percent increase in, in write offs and, and uh, or sorry, twenty eight percent decrease in new business and new orders. I don't want to own a home buyer when it costs you seven hundred fifty dollars more a month because of the seven percent mortgage rates. You mm. know, on a four hundred thousand dollar house. Uh, it's it. I think. People are staying put. I think I'm not going to buy a home builder yep. right now when the housing market is slowing. Look at the Kay Schiller numbers today. Although it's not we're a place short, I want to be. We're short 4 million homes across the nation, so you'd think that there would be a market there no matter what the price is. Victoria Green, thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.